Welcome to the final episode of Warm Journey to the Center of the Earth. Last time, remember, we actually found out who Ziggy was, and apparently, um, Moby's father was involved. Apparently, the apparently the story just didn't tell much of what it was. It's just like, oh, here, here's a random plot point, and there's another, and there's another stone tablet. This is what you need to do. That really, what? <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and do what we have to do and finish this game and call it. Oh. You know, yes. Shock wave. Oh. Yeah, um, I never knew about that. I didn't see that. Apparently there are some flames here that will kill in one hit. I didn't see. Um, no, really, I did not see that. You know, just in case, I'm going to drop a save like so. Give me a moment. Really? Well then, how the hell am I supposed to know No, seriously, how am I supposed to know where these flames are if they don't show themselves. That's why I'm actually doing this very carefully. Okay, um... There's something there that's just killing me. Seriously. 
Something is there and it's killing me. I don't know what it is. Okay, now something is going on. Something is there and it's killing me. One moment. I want to check something. Okay, we're going to try this again. I mean, if we're going to do that game, who can play that? Who can play this sort of shit game? It's the underworld's volcanic city. Must fly from here. Visor, change the aerial mode and lock. Three, two, one. Change switch on. Visor 4, take off! Yeah, shockwave. Shockwave for the wind, baby. We're currently at 680 miles, 680 miles underground. We have penetrated the volcanic city.
Wait, Dan! Of course. I've got something on the radar! Again! <laughs> I'm showing a life form in sector 0211522E. The Visor 5. Locke and Mike are on it. Okay. Now let's switch to phaser gun first off. And talk to our crew. So I believe it's Davis, Allen, and Bondo. Give me one second. Yes, Davis, Allen, and Bondo I need to talk to. So, Davis, please. Enlighten us. Can't we defend ourselves from Visor 5? Alan? If we stop the drill, the Visor 5 can no longer fly. Bondo. Use the phaser! It's all yours. And just says keep talking to Bonda. The get a drill, damn it! Possibility is sixty four. Couldn't tell if it's a phaser gun or anything else for that matter. shotting us like that. Okay, now it's Dan. Really Dan? You're not you're not gonna help us out here? One moment. Uh, Dan, you don't have much to say, do you? Just are you freaking kidding me, Dan? You not talking is just gaining possibility after possibility. Of They've been on my control? I mean, where's the plot? Because what this game really lacks in is a plot! <laughs> we 
basically saying, oh, well, about that plot that was lost when we when we translated it. Thanks, guys. No, really, thanks, guys. You know, I'm so glad this isn't light gun based, because I swear to God, I'd be so miffed because I'd be missing all the goddamn time with light gun. We got the possibility of shooting the Visor 5 down. And it's been shot down. Got him. And so is Ikamad. Ikamad. Really? Hmm? Ikamad's escaping to the palace. Ikamod. <laughs> Our crystals are safe! And so we get the mighty Dragon Ball- I'm sorry. Uh, wrong game. Now we have to get the Aura Balls. All four- um, I mean- <laughs> All four Dino Crystals! The war is finally coming to an end. The war is finally coming to a climax. It's also coming to an end. I'm not interested in you, sir. Ikamad, you can't escape me. <laughs> You're a persistent human. Those who defy our lady the great Zolgaz. Zolgaz. Will no longer be tolerated. You don't know what it means to lose the one you love. What? This is for Ziggy. What a plot that makes no damn sense. And and believe me, I, I played plenty of games that had plot that made no sense. This is one this is one of those times that the plot seriously does not make a lick of sense at all. So the reason why you're down here is because um and your father, who you never really explained in the beginning of said mission, has been missing all this time and nobody actually knows it. Hey, stone tablet. The missing stone tablet. This may solve the mystery. Four kingdoms of the earth. Three kingdoms to the underworld. Three kingdoms each sought to rule the other. Ah, oh, the romance of the three kingdoms. <laughs> After the Myria, Vana becomes Atlantis and Mu. One kingdom to survive. Atlantis victorious. 
the defeated Lemurians. The Gaia dies in the light. We and the Dynamo are descendants of Vana. Which means the Namotas are descendants of Lemuria. Then what is the Gaia? The King of Dynamo must know the answer. Um. One moment. Know what? Fuck it. This plot's making no sense, and here's the King of Dynamar. The King of Dynamar! Dyna Crystals. Dyna Crystals. Hurry before Sogaz finds out. Set the crystals in the giant statue. The statue? I'm sensing you have to put them in a certain order. The crystals are set. Nothing's happening. Solgas! Okay, so we have to set them in a certain order. One moment. Okay, we have to set them in a certain order. Green. The green crystal. Stalling him. Let's ready that. Next is... Yellow and blue. And he has a starlight gun and shoot him dead in the face. One moment. Thank you. 
Are you freaking serious? Okay, you know what? Let me reset. One moment. Okay, now, what we're supposed to do properly is this. Green. Mess it all up. I my possibility up to 10, so... Oh, man. I, I should have done this right the first time. Okay, thank you. So, it's... The following. One moment. Gotta make sure I do this right. Okay. Green. Red. Yellow. Blue. Use Starlight. There we go! The statue... What's happening? This is so anime. <laughs> I'm Son, the Princess of Gaia. I'm sure you have been sewn very nicely. <laughs> this, my friends, is a holographic projection. A Quinn Martin production. Long ago, on young Earth, a civilization known as the Lemuria ruled the overworld. Suddenly one day, the surface of Lemuria sank into the underworld, which was inhabited by my peaceful people of Gaia. Many thousands of years of wars followed as the Lemurians tried to take our world from us. Oh, by the way, this is a plot. During the under underworld wars, the Vaughn civilization from the moon took the overworld and 
began two cities, Atlantis and Mu. When Atlantis sank into the underworld, they conquered the Lemurians. Our Gaia civilization was slowly declining from the steady attacks of the Lemurians, and then later by the Atlantans. Damn, Aquaman must have been pissed. <laughs> but in the end, we all destroyed ourselves and our beautiful planet with one last great war, a nuclear war. And it turned into the planet of the apes. This holographic projection is our last great testament to the evils of war. Now that we are gone, please heed our warning and always seek peace only for only love, not war, will bring peace. Goodbye, my friends, and good luck. And that's it. That's... That's, um... That was, um... The end of Worm, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Um. Okay, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. This is the most ass backward game I've ever played. We don't know. It's like this: you have plot, but we don't know what the pl what the plot is. And apparently, the 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 crew doesn't know what the hell was going on to begin with. They just said, oh, we're going down into the Earth's surface. Okay, so what's happening at the Earth's surface? Well, there's this under underground war that's happening, and um, we got some characters that look like they escaped Planet of the Apes. So therefore, we're going to basically just say, uh, yeah, this is what's happening. We're having war with you. There you go. Oh, by the way, your father, who you never knew existed, is actually here in, in this part. Your boyfriend, who, I swear, just, like, move every zig, um, we just took his brain and we put him into a body of a bionic, um, pirate. And the boss bells... For those who have never played Worm Journey to the Center of the Earth, you basically have to talk. You basically have to talk to certain people to raise your possibility factor up. Then you have to use the weapon in question in order to make the killing blow. Because only when you reach 100% poss possibility can you kill a boss. And then there were certain bosses you had to fight off just to gain possibility. I don't know, folks. This is one of them weird ass games that I thought I'd never say. I thought I'd never see the end of it. And apparently, the game the game will not re repeat itself or go back to the title screen. It's just stuck here at the end. I'm I'm at a loss here, folks. But again, it's, it's another short game that I'm doing. I'm glad I got it over with and out of the way. So, next time on the channel, something else. Possibly Sonic R or maybe Bomberman for the Turbo Graphics or, or Nintendo. And I'm not talking about Bomberman, you know, the first Bomberman for Nintendo. I'm, I'm talking about Bomberman 2. So, uh, it might be either Bomberman for the TurboGrafx-16 or Bomberman 2 for the NES. Only a coin flip will basically figure all that out. But, until the next time, whatever I feel like playing, I have been your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi Ichigo Mosko, aka Pookie SE7. This game, as weird as it is, I'm glad it's done. And, um, I will see you next game! So take care, God bless, and as always, Tenkai Musa. Thanks for watching.